Hello guys, I'm back with another build review. This build is called the MQ Stax Medium Build. It's a slightly smaller build um, from the MQ Stax build. It's the medium build. <clears throat> and um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install it and um, how to make certain changes just, you know, to the way you like. And um, this build is not for everyone. It doesn't have 50 add-ons. You know, it has a, a few add-ons, not too much. You know, it's, it's for those that just want, you know, movies and TV shows. And, um, you know, a little bit of live TV or whatever. But, like I said, it's not a lot of add-ons on here. You know, it's probably just a handful and simple. You know, a couple of people been asking me, you know, they just want um, just a few add-ons on there. They just like the look, you know, of the build, but they just want a few add-ons. So I decided to do that. And, um, yeah, so let me show you around. Here we have our movies, TV shows. A hub, family, TV and sports, music, and we're back to our settings. Alright? Here's our movie section. In the sub-menu, we have Exodus, Specto, Salts, and Bubbles. Alright? And directly in movies, when you click on movies, it takes you to the Elysium add-ons. All right, and to the right for our widget, we have popular movies. All right, you could play the movie directly from here by clicking on it, and it'll pull up the extended info mod. All right. And, um... Next category is our TV shows, and to the left, we have Exodus, Specto, Salts, and Bubbles. And to the right, we have TV shows on air. All right. And here we have our hub. And um, in our submenu, we have the movies, movie sets, TV shows, TV guide, and favorites. Alright, so um, let's click on the movies in the submenu. I've only added well, four movies in here just to show you that you could populate this yourself with your movies and your TV shows. I've only added these two. And if you're new to my channel, I'm going to show you how you could populate that those sections by using the um the extended info mod and add in your own movies and TV shows all right and over here in our widget we have our movie sets all right as you can see it's John Wick 1 and John Wick 2 and the more sets you add the more this will populate all right and here we have our hub. When you click on it, brings you to this menu. We go into all movies. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to add your movies. And um, I know there's two parts of um, Guardians of the Galaxy, so I'll click on it. All right, and then scroll down, and you see two parts here. Third one is not out yet. So you hit the context button or long press and then you would add to library. I'll do the same thing to this one. All right. Let's see what else they have. I'm going to add the Avengers. I could click on the Avengers. Scroll down, and I'm going to add this one. The 
this one. So it's only these two. This is 2018-2019. All right. Let's back out. Now we're going to go to our TV show section. Go all the way to the left. Click on it. There's our TV shows. And um, I'm going to add... Let me add Flash. All right, give it a few seconds to add it on there. All right, I'm gonna add one more. I'm gonna add American Gods. Long press button or context button to bring up this menu once again, and then you add to library. All right, now let's back out of here. So as you can see in the widget, it's our movie sets. So John Wick was already there. We've added this one, Guardians of the Galaxy. When you click on it, you have one and two. All right, and we've added Avengers. So that's our sets. All right, and you can also go to the sub menu, and we've added, um, I believe, two TV shows. We've added The Flash and American Gods, and you could play it straight from here. When you click it, you get the um, episodes. You click it again; it'll bring up the um, this list from where. Um, you could play the TV show from. You could choose one of these add-ons. And, you know, just play it. You click on it. Alright. Alright, let me back up out of here. And, you know, you just choose a link that you want to play. And excuse the noise in the background, guys. All right. <clears throat> so that's how you populate your library. And um, a TV guide. When you click on it, it's your TV shows that you watch. If they're still airing, this is like a guide to show you when it's coming up next. So you, you can see on the 29th, The Mist, um, episode 2. It's coming on, and on Saturday, July 1st, Doctor Who episode 12 coming on. You could click on it also, and it'll take you straight there to the um to the TV show. All right, next we have our family section. In the sub menu, we have Blues Kids, Kids New Releases, and Kids Corner. And for our TV slash sports, this is episodes aired today. Let me show you what that's about when you click on it. And let's say you go to season three. It shows you shows that's on, you know, that's airing. And that's about to come up. As you can see, the next episode is um, on the 27th. Okay, so if you're looking for a TV show that's on, you know, that's airing and they're about to show another episode. You know, that's, that's what this is for. All right. And in the sub menu, wait, wait, let me click on um, TV and sports. All right, so you have your, your UK links and your USA IPTV. I haven't tried all the links, but the ones I've tried work. Let me try four. 
I'm going to just click on a link. ITV2. Okay. Work. I'm going to try another one. Let me try Cinema Premiere HD. Let's see if it loads up. It does. But most of the links I've tried been working. And you also have some sports in here when you scroll down. Let me scroll down. Uh, did I pass it? No. There you go. Here you have some sports channels. Let's try Sky Sports 2. All right, let's back out of there. And in the submenu, we have Falcon TV and Sports Devil. All right, next we have our music. And this is um, Today Top 100. All right, let me turn the volume down for this. All right, let's pick anything. Best of 2016. Yeah, the song is actually playing already. I just turned the volume down. And when you hit the back button, it brings you back up here. Let's see if it down. There's no artist. No image found for this artist. Let me try another, another song. Just hit next. And there you go. So this is how it look. You can even go up and then choose another one. Or hit up again and you come back to the screen. Alright, here we have our settings. In the sub menu we have add-ons that takes you straight to install from zip file oh, let me turn this off all right here we have our program add-ons our video add-ons our um this is our music add-ons image in your file browser to add your um it takes you to your file manager to add source. Your shutdown button, exit, and here's your weather. If you decide to put your weather on here. So there you have it guys. It's easy and simple. So now I'm going to show you how to customize it a little bit. You know, if that's what you want to do. If you want to add your, more, um, your own add-ons. You know, and you want to... Put it under movies into your in your sub menu right here. So what you want to do is you'll go to settings. Alright. And then scroll down to skin settings. And then slide over to the right and go to customize main menu. Alright, so you'll scroll down and highlight movies. Slide to the left. And then you'll pick an empty slot. Alright, you click on it, click on that again, so now you're all the way to the right. Now, you can add a video node or you could just add a straight add-on. It will just have the add-on on there. If you want to go deeper inside the add-on, you would do a video node. So you click on the video node, go to video add-ons. Let's say I wanted to put Stream Hub. See, it'll go into StreamUp, opposed to just putting the, the add-on on there. And I want to add movies. And I want it 
right here when I click on it and I want it right here and I just hit OK so I tap to the right OK is um, highlighted and I press OK alright so as you can see on the left it's called video node so I'm gonna rename it now and um forgot the name what name it was stream hub um, so I'm gonna name it stream hub movies All right, and then hit done. There you go, it's named Stream Hub Movies. All right. And um, that's it. Now let's say you wanna add an item to the home menu bar and you see I have the, the red right there. You pick an empty slot, right? And it says replace this menu with and you slide to the right and let's say if you just don't want to add on on there you want to go deep inside the add-on you go to video node again you go to your video add-ons so let's choose let's say um exodus and you want tv shows or whatever it is on there there's TV shows um, and you want most popular TV shows I'm just showing you this for example all right and let's say you want it right here slide to the right and you see OK right here and then you click OK and that's it so you can rename it I'm gonna just put any, anything I'm gonna just put Exodus no, first of all, wait, I have to put the color in there. So this is how you do the color if you don't know, okay? Just follow what I'm doing. You click on that. Make sure this is in caps. I'm, I'm choosing the color red, so I'm using red. It's lowercase. Okay. And um, I want this symbol <clears throat> as red. So it's going this way. And I put another one. Okay, and now I'm going to put the name Exodus. You could do that with the whole word also, you know, if you will, if you want to. But um, that's not how I have set it up. Um, the name I'm going to put is Exodus. All right. And um, I have to color, I have to put color here also, so it'll be, red. Another one because that's the color I want that's what I want in red and then yes. wait miss the step I have to put that
All right, so once you're done, you click done. As you can see right here, it came out like that. So if you follow the step what I just showed you, that's how it is gonna be in your um, main menu screen. All right, let's back out. So as you can see, Exodus, this is this how it look. Now if you wanna put a widget for this, just slide to the right since we did a video node. Um, it's right here, Exodus. Since we did a video node on the home menu screen, you click on it. You know, just slide to the right to get out of there. And here we have our widget. Okay, and this is for the, um, what, what was it, most popular TV shows, I believe it was, from Exodus. Alright, so the only way you could put widgets is doing it by a video node. Alright, so. And also, let's say you want to put a widget in another category, you could slide to the right. If it's empty, you slide to the right. And you could, uh, some of these work. If you have track in your um, movie database, it work. But I'm using the um, just the movie database, not track TV. Let's say you want to use, let me see if in cinema work, the movie database. Nope, that the uh, upcoming movies. That's TV show, popular, popular, top rated. You're seeing that um, widget popped up. And here you have popular, top rated uh, movies also click on it it'll take you to the movie database let's give it a few to pop up <clears throat> so there you go oh I pressed it twice excuse me and you can play it or you can add it to library So there you have it guys. Now um let me show you how to install this build. Now if you're on a build already and you have to do a fresh start, um that's what I'm gonna do for me to um for me to install this build. I will have to go to my file manager. Alright. You would have to go to add source, you add your source. Alright, and the source is the Aries Wizard. It's right here. As you can see it on the bottom. Alright, so once you once you put that, you'll name it to whatever you want. I named it Aries. Alright, to double check to see if you put it in right, you can click on it. And you can see it's there. Alright. So you back out. And now you'll go to. You install from zip file. Alright. And then you'll go to. I named the Aries. So if you named it something else. You'll, na you'll navigate to that. Alright. And then you'll install it. And wait for the notification to pop up. I've already installed it. So I'm going to just go ahead. To the next step. And then the next step is you'll go to install from repository, go to Aries, program add-ons, and then install it. All right. I already have it, so I'm going to just jump into Aries, which will be in your program section, your program add-ons. And I'm going to just go into Aries.
and give it a few to um, let it pop up. All right, so once it's there, you go to, we have to do a fresh start. I usually go to more and I scroll down and I go to erase all data, fresh start. I click on yes, proceed. All right, so once that's done, the force close button is right here. I full close Cody and I go back into it. All right, so now my, um, <clears throat> my Aries wizard is hidden. So I'll go to add ons. I'll go to my add ons and I'll go to program add ons. Aries, and then I'm gonna enable it, and then I'm gonna open it. All right. So now you're on this screen, you go to browse builds and you'll scroll down to, you see the name Steven. That's right here. And once you see it, you click on it. And then you're gonna scroll down to the, it should be on the bottom. Krypton MQ Stacks Medium Build. And um, don't worry about the picture. As always, I just uploaded it. It'll take a few minutes or whatever to, um, to change. But the build you're looking for is the Krypton MQ Stacks Medium Build. All right. As you can see, let me show you the difference. The Stacks Build is a little... Well, it's not a little. It's 500... And 42 megabytes that's for you know high-end devices this build is it's it's a medium build like you've seen it's hardly you know no it's only a handful of add-ons on there and stuff like that so what you'll do is since we did our fresh start you just click on it then you install it and then proceed And also, if it's giving you a slow speed, you can always cancel it and start it again. And um, if you guys have any questions or you have any comments, just leave it in the comment section below. I try to answer all the questions you have. You know, as you can see, I try to respond to, I try my best to respond to every, every comment that's in the comment section. I try to, you know. a few more minutes and also thank you guys for watching for watching my videos and subscribing 
you know, I appreciate it a lot. And I, I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos. You know, I like my builds. I like my builds clean. You know, with not too much going on on it. I don't like, you know, too many items on the home screen. I can't see the background. I like I like seeing the background. If I put a background on there, I like to see it. You know, I don't. That's why my bills, it looks empty, you know. But I just like the look. You could always add whatever you, whatever add-on you use, or whatever sports add-on you use. You could always add it, you know, t to any build that you use. You want to make that build yours. You want to make that build, you know, work for you. All right, we're almost done. Now it's gonna extract it. And I, I like this skin. I, I like it. The only thing is it's hard to um, let your settings stick. You know, that's why you hardly see any builds with this skin. <clears throat> now, any changes you make, any um, sub-menu items you create or whatever you put on your menu bar, make sure you go to shutdown, which in the sub-menu of the settings, you go to shutdown. Just don't get out of Cody or try to force close it. The you said most likely your settings won't stick. Whatever you put on your home menu bar is not gonna stick. So when you go back into Cody, you'll be like, hey, what happened to this item I put on the on the menu screen? You know, it it'll it'll be gone. So now we're waiting for the dot. Now, here we go. You want to back up the skin profile. You hit no. You hit no again. Then you hit OK to foreclose. And I will go back into Cody. Alright, so here we have the build. And um, what I was, so you wait, once you put up in the build, just wait for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes for everything to function right. And you know it's working in the background, let it settle. Or the Elysium add-on updated. It wasn't working well. It was working only through the hub, but um, playing it straight from the add-on, it was it was acting funny. I knew it was gonna be an update. Let me check it out. I should have waited. It's still working on the background. Well, the icons look different. Let's go into Populars. Okay, yeah, started working again. Let's go back into our hub. Let's 
see if they actually change the whole icon of Elysium. Click on anything. Ah, oh, they kept the same icon. Anyway, yeah, so one last thing I'm going to show you is when you, let's say you added something in the submenu area, like how I showed you in the beginning. And after you're done doing whatever you're doing, you go to your settings, you go to this um, submenu, and you'll hit shut down. So when you go back into Cody, you know, whatever you put in your submenu or whatever you created, it will stick. Because sometimes it don't stick. So, like, if you put an item on the menu bar and you just get out of Cody and then you just force close it or whatever and Cody shuts down or whatever and when you go back into Cody whatever you created will be gone so make sure you go to settings and you go to shutdown all right and um also if you haven't seen my previous video how to change the layout you go to your settings skin settings on the menu you slide to the right and scroll right here, menu in vertical mode. You click on that. Now you have the horizontal um, view. Alright, so um, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to my channel, just hit that subscribe button and um, give this video a thumbs up.